My name is DJ Riggs, creative director at large, based out of New York City. So my inspiration for this particular look is really representing the flapper, an age where most women became much more liberated. The main thing is starting first sea salt, just to prep the hair. Once you have that, you really have a nice foundation in the hair. So just really working the texture and the finger waves so you can really see a bit of that flapper-inspired type of momentum in the hair and utilizing the wet look gel to really enhance that texture. So you'll notice just the kind of shine that it gives it, but it also gives it a nice hold. So just taking the finishing spray, spraying it a bit, and just using the finger just to detail a bit more framing around the face. And then maximizing a bit more of a retro theme, just going in with the crimper around the perimeter of the shape. And with that, that's really gonna create a rougher texture. Then we have to lock in the shape. When you want to lock something in, you want to have a spray that can really combat that, that type of finishing result. So the finishing spray is really great. If you want to opt for a different texture, you can always go with the flexible work it spray. But for, for my look, the, the finishing spray was really maximum use. The second approach that I'm doing is a bit more of, let's say, remnants of the night that you had before, but then it's kind of going into a bit more softer feel. So we automatically just advance from like a flapper era, very liberated, very sexy. So then brushing that out and then you'll see just how it gets a bit distorted. Using alternative tools is really good to have something that's going to reinforce that alternative feel. So when you're working with that, you really want to make sure that you have something that's going to lock it in, but yet you can still create the texture that you're looking for. And then from there, once we actually really start to see the shape evolve, you can see elements of everything that took place, but then from there actually creating our finishing look.